Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and today's storyboard tip is about locking controls on the storyboard, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, I just want to explain this concept of locking. A lot of times in graphics programs, you have different layers and different objects, like this in Sketch. And normally you can select objects and edit them somehow, but they have this concept of locking. So you can't even select the object that's locked, and you can tell what's locked by this little icon right here. Well, believe it or not, Xcode has something similar that you can employ like this. So let's check it out. Here we have a storyboard. And say we've set all these buttons and we wanna lock them now. We wanna make sure nothing gets edited. Well, what I can do is select a button. And then if you go over to the identity inspector and it's kind of hidden, you wanna go down to this document section right here. And you see this property called lock. And right now it's set to inherited or it says nothing so nothing's locked but I can change it to all properties and now what this is going to do is this is going to prevent me from changing any of the properties associated with this button so watch what happens if I come here and say I want to change the text color so maybe you want to make it this color but it doesn't let me right and you'll notice a lock icon flashed up like in the center of the storyboard so here let me move this over see so it's more apparent and I'll try to change another property here and you see that lock icon show up. So that's a good way to preserve the properties of some object on the storyboard that you no longer want to have any edits or changes made to it. And another thing you, you might have noticed, let's go back to the identity inspector and change this back here. And notice it says inherited. Well, that's because you can lock things on a parent scale, a parent child scale. So if I wanted to, I could come up to the stack view and if I wanted to lock all of these controls all at one time and the stack view itself, then I can do that. I could just come here and I can lock all the properties. And then if I try to select one of these buttons and then make a change to it, maybe I want, I want to change the border width. It's not going to let me. It just changes it back to two. Or maybe I want to change the font. And I come here and select this one. doesn't let me. Okay, so that's good to know. So at the very top, you can come right up to the view controller and then go back to the identity inspector and you can lock everything right up at the top. So now the whole storyboard is locked. And any other developers that come here and want to make a change, you know, or they, you know, have you ever selected something and accidentally moved it? Well, this just snaps it right back to place. I can't even move controls now. So everything here is preserved. So that's a handy little trick if you're done with the UI and you just want to select things and inspect things and not make any changes. It's also a good little trick to play on your developer friends. <laughs> if you go into the storyboards and lock everything, it's going to take them a while to figure out. They might not even figure it out, so make sure you're around <laughs> if they have questions. <laughs> okay, but you didn't get that from me. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for storyboard tips every Monday. Also consider sharing with your friends who might be able to benefit from these storyboard tips. Thank you.